Hello, this is Shay Jackson with Hype Math, and in today's video, we will be reviewing for the 2022 Texas Star Math Test for fifth graders. The concept we are reviewing is comparing decimals. This is part two. Remember fifth graders, sometimes the right path is not the easiest one. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so that you will be alerted when we upload new videos. All of the problems we will be going over is in our fifth grade math review workbook that is available for purchase in our store. The link will be in the description box so that you can grab yours today. So let's do a quick review of comparing decimal values. Now, this again is part two. If you can't remember, um, because we're going to do a brief review and then we're going to dive into our problems, then you can go back to part one. And then once you complete that, you can come back to part two. So whenever we compare decimals, what we're going to do is step one, write the numbers, line them up, by the decimal places. Step two, begin at the far left to compare the digits of the same place value. And same place value means I'm gonna to look to see if what's in the ones place, what's in the tens place, what's in the tenths place, okay? Step three, if the numbers are the same in the place values, continue until you can compare different numbers. And step four, write the appropriate inequality sign for the numbers. Remember, the alligator mouth always opens up to the largest or the biggest number. So let's look at our example. We are comparing 7.4862 and 7.4852. Our step one, we are going to write the numbers lining up the decimal places. And it is so important that you have the decimal places lined up correctly, because if not, when you're comparing the place values, may, you may do it incorrectly if the decimal places are not correct. So once I do that, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to begin to compare the digits starting at the far left, okay? At the far left, and in our example, that is the ones place. Well, we see that in the ones place for both numbers, they both have sevens. So now what we're gonna do is go to step three. If the numbers are the same and the place values continue until you can compare different numbers. So if you notice, in the ones place, our numbers are the same. In the tenths place, our numbers are the same. They both have fours. In the hundredths place, again, they're the same. They both have eight. Let's look at the thousands place. They have different numbers. The top number has a six and the bottom number has a five. So what we're gonna do now is we are gonna write the appropriate inequality sign. Since six is greater than five, then that means that 7.4862 or seven and 4,862 ten thousandths is greater than seven and 480, seven and 4,853 thousandths, okay? Oh, Miss Jackson should have put a three, guys. My apologies. But it didn't change the answer, okay? And remember, again, the alligator mouth always opens up to the largest number. So let's dive into our problem. And again, if you would like to follow along in your workbook where you can go over our, the problems, you can write down everything that we're talking about, the link will be in the description box so you can purchase your uh, workbook. So number five says, a scientist compared these two measurements, 13 and 68 thousandths, and also 13 and 680,008 thousandths, okay? And it's in kilograms. Which symbol make, makes this comparison true? Is it F greater than G less than H equal to or J plus? 
The first question we're going to ask ourselves is, what are we looking for? Very important question because that's going to determine everything else concerning this problem. Well, we are looking for the symbol that makes the comparison true. Next, what we need to ask is, what information can help us find the answer? In order to solve this problem, what we need to do is, we need to know what the two measurements are. And again, they are 13 and 68 thousandths and 13 and 608 thousandths, okay? So how are we going to solve this problem? How are we going to solve this problem? Well, in order for us to solve this problem, what we're gonna do is compare our numbers. So step one, thinking again, how we compare decimals, we say we need to write the number, making sure that our decimal points are aligned correctly. Number two, looking at the place values. Now, as we go through each place value, if the numbers are the same, starting with the far left-hand corner, with the far left-hand place value, not corner, the far left-hand place value, in this example, that is the tens place, we are going to compare our numbers. Now, if our numbers are the same, we are gonna keep moving to the right until our numbers are different. So starting at the tens place, we see that both both of the numbers have a one. Now we're gonna to move to the right to the ones place. We're looking at the ones place and again, our numbers are the same. So now we're gonna to move to the tenths place and we can stop at the tenths place. Why? Because we have different numbers. Our top number, the 13 and 68 thousandths has a zero in the tenths place with the THS at the end. And for our bottom number, which is 13 and 680 thousandths, that has a six in the tenths place. So which number is greater? Okay. Which number is greater? Now let's solve our problem. What is the correct answer? Remember the alligator mouth always opens up to the largest number. So since we know that six is larger or bigger than zero, what is the correct answer? If you said G, you're absolutely correct we have our alligator mouth open up to 13 and 0 0.608 kilograms because the six in the tenths place is larger than the zero in the tenths place, okay? And the way that this problem can be read is 13 and 68 thousandths is less than kilograms, is less than 13 and 608 thousandths thousands kilograms, okay? Now let's move to question six. Great job, fifth graders. Number six says, Joshua compared the values of these decimals. We have 0 0.06 and 0 0.6, 0 0.006, or and 0 0.060, okay? Which statement correctly compares two of these numbers? Is it A, 0 0.6 is less than 0 0.06? C, I'm sorry, B, 0 0.006 is greater than 0 0.6? C, 0 0.6 is equal to 0 0.06 or D, 0 0.060 is equal to 0 0.06. And our first most important question is, what are we looking for, okay? What are we looking for in this problem? And one of the things that I will say, fifth graders, whenever you're solving a multiple choice problem, 
it's good to just go ahead and solve the problem for yourself and then compare your answer with the answer choices. Because sometimes just looking at the answer choices, trying to figure out the answer can become confusing, frustrating, and overwhelming. And then sometimes students just choose something. But if you just walk through and you solve the problem on your own, once you have the answer, then you look at what the answer choices are. That improves your chance of getting the answer correct, okay? So we are looking for the statement that correctly compares two numbers. Our second important question is, what information can help find the answer? Okay, what information can help find the answer? Well, the information that can help us find the answer is the decimal values that we have, okay? And, that, and then we need to dive into comparing them, which leads us to our next question is how to solve the problem. Okay, how to solve the problem? Well, in order for us to solve the problem, what we're going to do is compare the inequalities. And remember, the alligator mouth always opens up to the larger number. So let's look at A. It says 0 0.6 is less than 0 0.06. So and us talking about comparing decimals, what we said was, and even though we're not going to line up our numbers and everything, all we need to do is look at our ones place. We see that both of the ones place have a zero in it. Let's move to the tenths place, okay? And in the tenths place, 0 0.6 has a six, and then 0 0.06 has a zero. So six is greater than zero. And what do we say? That the alligator mouth always opens up where? To the greatest number or the biggest number, okay? So that's something to think about. A seems a little shaky. Okay, we're gonna put that one on the back burner for right now. B. 0 0.006 is greater than 0 0.6. Okay, so again, even though we didn't line up our decimals, all we have to do is look at our place values. For our ones place, both of the numbers have a zero. Now, let's look at the tenths place. So in the tenths place, the number on the left-hand side, 0 0.006, has a zero in the tenths place, and then 0 0.6 has a six in the tenths place. Mm, and what do we say? The alligator mouth opens up to the what? Largest number. So is that opening up to the largest number? something to think about all right so let's go to c it says 0 0.6 is equal to 0 0.06 okay again we are going to look at our place values and for our ones place both of our numbers have a zero so now we're going to move to the right to our tenths place well, if they were e the numbers were equal to each other, that means that all of the numbers would be the same, right? And we see that there's a in the tenths place, there's a six for 0 0.6, and then in um, 0 0.06, there's a zero. So are those numbers equal to each other? Something to think about. All right, let's move to D because a, B, and C seem a little shaky, okay? So let's let's come to D. Let's go to D. Let's see what's going on. So we're going to line up our decimals. Well, we didn't line up our decimals, but what we're going to do is compare the place values. So, okay, in the ones place, both of the numbers have a zero. Now let's move to the tenths place. Both of the numbers have a zero, okay. Now let's move to the hundreds place and that's how we compare the decimals, right? We said we keep moving and the numbers are the same. We keep moving to the right until we see a different number. So in the hundreds place, both of the numbers have a six. Now let's move to the thousands place. Uh-oh, well, one number has a zero and then one number 
doesn't have a place value in the thousands place. Now, one thing Ms. Jackson will tell you is whenever you're dealing with decimals and you're doing a comparison, you're adding or subtracting or doing anything like that, if the number doesn't have, if one number has a number in that place value and the other one doesn't, what we do is we put a zero and it's considered a um, a placeholder just so that we can have our numbers matched up and uniform, okay? So even though the number on the right-hand side does not have a, a number in the, the thousands place, what we need to do is put a zero, and I'm gonna put it right now, because listen, this is our place value, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight it Let's bold it. Oh, we're gonna change the, we're gonna change it to another color because we know, okay, that number was not, it did not have a zero, but our other number did. And so we need to put our placeholder or our zero there. Now that we've done that, do those numbers equal each other? Hmm, something to think about. So what is the correct answer? Y'all are pretty smart, so I know y'all already know what the answer is. It is D. 0 0.60 is equal to 0 0.06 or, and the only reason that I didn't say the decimal because I was like, if I say the decimal, they're gonna know the answer. D is um, six hundredths is equal to six hundredths. That's how you say, both of those decimal values. And that is it for this review, fifth graders. Remember, if you would like to follow along with us as we go through the problems, you can purchase one of the books in our store. The link will be in the description box. This is Shay Jackson. I will talk to you later.